Welcome back. We've seen a lot of changes in technology since we first came on the air in 1953. Less than half of the homes in America then even had TV sets, and many of those that did were in or near big cities. But Raymond Tubb shows us how our commitment to serve you led us to seek out the newest technology through the years. When I started here in 1989, the station had just celebrated its 35th anniversary. Over that time, we've gone from typewriters and videotape to fully digital cameras and editors and laptops. It's a far cry from the early days. This is WMAZ TV, Channel 13, Macon, Warner Robins, Georgia. That's the voice of announcer Jack Owens. In the early days of 13 WMAZ, he introduced the live local shows on the station. In the beginning, there were no guidelines. Our experiences were that we were really pioneering, we were learning. TV shows were presented live. Film was expensive, and it didn't hold up well. In 1961, videotape came along to change that. And in 1965, the station went to color broadcast. Technology also affected reporters. They covered stories for both TV and radio back then using a 67-pound film camera kit. As a reporter from 1961 to 86, Ken Hill finally remembers the transition from film to videotape, even though the new cameras still weighed over 35 pounds. Of course, it's a good thing. It's a good thing for reporters. It was easy on your clothes <laughs> and uh, because uh, it was just easy on your back also. In 1983, we introduced our first live eye van, allowing remote live coverage for around 30 miles. Now we can go live from anywhere in the world with cell service using one small backpack unit. In 1997, we purchased our own Doppler radar. At the time, it was five to seven minutes faster than the signal coming in from the National Weather Service. Chief Meteorologist Chris Smith talked about the potential life-saving difference in 2003. It was the greatest thing to have this technology, not only for me as a science geek, but knowing what it could do for the viewers. In late 1996, we introduced Central Georgia's first television website. Much like the pioneering broadcasters in 1953, we developed 13WMAZ.com at a time when there was no formula for building a website. But it was a game changer from the start. Dodie Cantrell spoke about that during our 50th anniversary special in 2003. This is the first opportunity we've really had to be able to, in people's workplace, say, look, you need to know this and you need to know this now. The early 2000s brought digital and high definition. Just a few weeks ago, former chief engineer John Timms talked about the difference that makes. You get a far, far better picture uh, than you ever got before because you can do high def now and a 16 by 9, a widescreen TV, the color is perfect. Technology continues to help us bring you information even more quickly and with better quality than ever before. But in the end, it's just a tool to help us achieve our main mission. One Don Displaced McGurk summed up during our 50th anniversary special. A lot of technology involved, but if we don't serve the viewers, then we're not doing our job. And every piece of technology we look at is, will this serve the viewers better? We have come a long way. Another technology we are now using to cover news is Drone 13. With a camera flying through the sky, we can help you see Central Georgia landmarks and give you a valuable perspective from above. We've got even more archive content to share with you. Join us Wednesday at 5.30 p.m. for a 30-minute special as 13WMAZ celebrates 70 years straight from the heart.